Art is about originality. I am sick and freaking tired. I'm sick and tired of nostalgia. Nostalgia makes me sick. Nostalgia is trash. Nostalgia is, let's face it, nostalgia is, it's loserish. It's face it, it's real. Nostalgia is loserish. Um, and as, and nostalgia is destroying Hollywood. As the title of the video states, um, there is a new world order that's going to be coming soon. And Hollywood is heading down the tubes. And what you are going to be seeing is possibly video games. Video game creators of all video games. And... Um, South Korea, because it's so apt that what have been the two biggest hits of this year, massive, huge hits of this year, that have made size big, Squid Game and Arcane. You know, um, you see, like for me, Arcane has obviously not really made that much of a big splash, but I think Arcane is one of those things of where it's going to be word of mouth, and more and more people will, will, will be getting used to it. And also, Arcane isn't really something that appeals to the masses. Obviously, we'll get to Squid Game, but Arcane is something where you've got to really be into the arts. It's very sci-fi as well. And also, sci-fi is not really a, a, a mass appeal. But what Arcane Rev represents is, hopefully, a new world order in terms of animation. So you get our pieces of crap Pixar out of there. Because in Arcane... Because I, I think I was watching the, the, the Game Awards, bro. If... I think it's... I, was, I think for, for T-Shirt, the guys who do Arcane, if these guys get their hands on Warhammer 40k. Because I just saw like the Warhammer 40k trailer for the new game. Bro, those those Ultramarines, probably one of the best pieces I've ever seen in my life. If they get their hands on that, it's freaking money. Um, but, I want, but talking about Squid Game, I don't think there's... Because uh, I, was, I was thinking about this before I did this video, so let me just try and get this right. I don't think there's been anything that has made as much of an impact that Squid Game has. And I think the last time anything made this game that Squid Game has, I think it was probably The Matrix. See, Avatar was more of like, okay, it's the 3D thing, but it's also just an impact of everyone's talking about it. It's on everyone's lips. It's The Matrix. Because everybody was talking about bullet time and everybody was doing this and so forth. Everybody was talking about, about bullet time. So I'm going to Matrix. Was Matrix, but and what are and what are the two things that both of these things share? Are Squid Game and Arcane, originality. Squid Game is a totally new, amazing, fresh idea, and it's so fresh that it's made an impact because you're like, oh my gosh, this has nothing to do with nostalgia. It's not relying on something from before. It is completely new, and it took the world by storm. And still, taking the world by storm. Arcane. Now, I've not played the game League of Legends, but from what I've known is. It's a bit of the story there, but they've expanded it so much. But you know what the beauty about League of Le Le Legends is? I've never played the game. So about Arcane, I've never played League of Legends. You can watch Arcane with zero knowledge of the video game because they don't make the game saying, "Oh, you know this, you know this." So if, if you've played the game, yeah, guys will know it. But there isn't. It doesn't play inside baseball so much. So for someone like me who has not played the game at all. Bro, I can watch Arcane and fully enjoy it for a story in and of itself, which is what makes it so amazing. Which brings us to Star Wars, Ghostbusters Afterlife, and The Matrix Resurrections. I watched that piece of trash, The Matrix Resurrections clip that came out. And I would have smashed my TV when you saw Neo walk through to meet... He's called Lofius, but I just bring it you know, like the guy that's is playing the buy one get it free the budget um freaking one dollar one pound store morpheus I, i'm calling him lofius so when neil is is with the box character and goes to meet lofius and then you see images of morpheus from the first matrix i was like because what is it i heard audible i said what <laughs> i i i thought it was a parody when you walk through and they're showing images of before i was like oh wait, wait, wait what is this and i think what is this and Lofius actually opened his mouth and said a little bit of nostalgia. He actually said the word nostalgia. <laughs> they said the word nostalgia. And this is the key thing you have to understand about this whole Matrix Resurrection thing. See, people are stupid, but let me, let, let you play, just give you a little bit of that. Let me give you a bit of that. The Matrix is a combination of 
two people, Lana Wachowski and Lily Wachowski. Lana Wachowski went to Lily. So Lana Wachowski made this film out of grief because of, you know, her parents, dad, and so forth. I wanted just to make this to cope with the grief. Not because he had a new idea. I wanted to cope with the grief, which is all, which is all fair and good. So Lana Wachowski goes to Lily Wachowski and says, yo, I have this idea of us to do like a retread and a reimagining of the first Matrix film and go back on the previous films, you know, and a bit of a nostalgic trip. And Lily Wachowski said, cool, I'll support you, but that's stupid. It's stupid for us to, to, to go back. I don't want to go back. I'd rather go move forward, but I don't want, I don't want to go, go back. So it gives you a mind that one of the siblings who helped brought the Matrix thinks this was a, 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 a bad idea. Lana Wachowski, you're only 50% of this. And we don't even know what the 50% was. Bro, maybe Lady Wachowski came up with bullet time and maybe fought for Lawrence Fishburne and so forth. But the larger idea I'm saying is that Hollywood is it's coming to the end. The, the end of Hollywood is nigh because Hollywood is running out of ideas. Because what they're doing is leaning on nostalgia and comic books. That's why they are rinsing and they're sucking it dry. They're sucking the orders of the, of the, of the um, cash cow that is comic books. Because I thought that the whole comic book thing was going to go down, but it's still surviving. And they're going to suck that thing dry. So you're having multiverse, new verse, this verse, getting complete bro eternals what who whose brother idea was it to make a bloody thing about eternals that thing was trash i i mean no i don't want to be harsh and so forth our film was bad i'm sorry the actors did their thing half nah, our film was not nah no so and lord only knows what the hell is going to happen in spider-man because as i'm looking at spider-man i'm like i think this guy's just gonna just have everyone in it like we well, screw it just gonna, it's gonna have it's gonna be like a freaking party that's why it is so important to champion Squid Game and Arcane because art is about originality. It's about doing things that are new. It's about taking risks. And the thing about doing art and so forth, sometimes it doesn't work. But that's the whole beauty about art is that, you know, you put something, okay, it doesn't work. But I appreciate the efforts. Put it this way. I appreciate a bad film that's original than a bad film that is nostalgic or trying to copy something that came before. Because both things are in the same. You, you, you bad film being nostalgic, bro, you didn't even give an effort. At least the bad film that's trying to be original, you gave an effort. If this work up, poor, I appreciate the effort of you trying to put something out there that is totally new, that comes from your own brain, that isn't relying on something else that is true. I don't want to, I don't want to feel nostalgic about The Matrix. I have the trilogy right here with me and I, and I watch it constantly. So why do I need to see a new film to remind me of a film that I already own and a film that I think I probably watched? I'm going to watch it again for the next few days and I think I watched it like a few months ago. So I don't need to be reminded of it. So same thing I'm hearing with Ghostbusters Afterlife. That's why I haven't even bothered. I didn't bother to watch Afterlife because I dislike the trailer. And the moment that I heard in the reviews that they're using stuff from the old film, I was like, I'm not, wa I'm not wasting my money on that. You know, because again, look, I I'm, I don't have time to now spend money to watch something that I already own. Bro, I already own Ghostbusters 1. I already have Ghostbusters 2. I, can, I watch Ghostbusters 1 and Ghostbusters 2. I watched them recently this year, part 1 and part 2. So why do I need to watch a new film that's now reminding me about something I just watched like a few months ago? <laughs> it's utterly stupid. It is it is moronic. What these guys are doing, but they're doing it is because it's safe. But what Squid Game should... That's it. I told you, I love the success of, of Squid Game because this was South, South, South Korea been doing this from freaking old boy, freaking check out this film called The Chaser and, and, and so forth and all this. South Korea has always been about Parasite. Something is happening. Parasite's winning the, the Oscar, the first foreign film to win an, an Oscar. Now you're looking at, at Squid Game. South Korea are now gonna be the new artistic hotbed. Now, the, the thing is that a lot of guys have moved to TTV. Hence why some of the best stuff you see from, from Hollywood is TV. But when it comes to movies, bro, I think South, South, South Korea is it. South Korea is it. Bro, we had, bro, Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> it got canceled. That dumbass thing got canceled. And do you know why it was so dumb? Again, no offense to the guys, because I know the people gave their effort. The, the, that moron, who was the creator, you th whose wise idea was it for you to carbon copy an anime? <laughs> How do you make a carbon copy of an anime? 
Do you know how mad an anime is? Do you know how dynamic a 2D animation is? 2D animation can't be translated as a carbon copy to live action. You have to adapt. But this guy didn't adapt it. He made a carbon copy thing. New fans were like, what the bloody hell is this? Fan Sorry, people who didn't see the anime were like, what the hell is this? Fans of the anime were like, bro, this is some kind of weird hybrid that simply doesn't work in live action and sort of butchers the, the anime. So therefore, you alienate new people and the and the pe fans are already there. And it deservedly got... And 100% they deserve to get to, to, be, to be panned. Because you look at a cowboy people that's just trying to copy something original that came before. And look at Squid Game Web Pro. I've never seen anything like, like Squid Game. People say, oh, it's a bit like Battle Royale. Hong Games actually stole from Battle Royale. But I've never seen anything like Squid Game. I've never... The, just how it's connected to us as humans and humanity and so forth. I've never seen anything like, like, like Squid Game. And that is what I'm supposed to be about. Something new, something fresh that affects us on an emotional level, man. And I'm saying real to you, man. If it's me, I give the kiss to South, South Korea. Give the kiss to South Korea because, because based off of what's from Old Boy to The Chaser to... Um, is it Train to Boost? No, Snowpiercer. Um, the thing with the way they're on, on the freaking train and it's like poor and, and really rich and poor freaking um, parasites and now um, with Squid Game bro South Korea those dudes and now with Ar Arcane Arcane and Arsena bro drop that bomb ass Pixar piece of trash stuff man animation can be real can be edgy can actually be, be, be adults it doesn't have to be the same stupid idiotic crap emotional nonsense that those <laughs> I don't even worry lose that dudes man New Age, man, guys, tell me what you think, man. What's, what's gonna happen, bro? I, 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 I need to just put that out there.